My name is Marcus Hendricks. I'm a second year medical school student at the American University of Antigua College of Medicine in Antigua in the Caribbean. When I was 17 years old, I suffered a spontaneous pneumothorax. My left lung collapsed while I was at a scholarship banquet for college, uh, college scholarship recipients. And I thought I was dying, thought I was having a heart attack. By that time, I was a varsity athlete. I was three years a vegetarian and was the last person to expect to suffer from an issue like that. But um, by the grace of God, I survived and decided that I wanted to become a cardiothoracic surgeon and help other people in the same way that my cardiothoracic surgeon helped me out when I was, um, well, knocking on death's door. I am one of those non-traditional students on okay. grass. So I did not, unfortunately, Sketchy did not have a pre-medical <laughs> aspect to it when I was an undergrad. Um, so I graduated from George Washington University in, <laughs> I'm dating myself here, 2011. Um, I studied mechanical engineering with a concentration in aerospace engineering. Wow. And I also took a lot of uh, pre-med classes while doing my engineering coursework. And then I decided to help people um, more directly. And I did that first by volunteering with uh, my local fire department and also by working as a police officer. And while serving as a volunteer firefighter slash paramedic, you know, I started doing this post-baccalaureate program. My paramedic instructors were like, you know, you should really give medical school a try. It's like, okay. <laughs> Uh, so I applied and got into medical school. Here I, am. I started using it and was like, wow, this is really helpful. Things started to click. Um, and then we have these small group activities where we are quizzed on the course content right before we have our major exams. And I noticed an improvement in my performance in class. I started remembering a lot more of my drugs, mechanisms of actions or side effect profiles. And was just, you know, blown away by the improvement. It's like when you're in the midst of your storm and you're struggling and you're looking for a way out and then someone's like, hey, try this. Like, that looks like more work, but I'll try it since it worked for you. And then, you know, looking back at it, I'm like, how do did, how did people get through medical school without sketchy? I would say to my undergraduate self, pick a calling, stick to it and do the best that you can do every single day. Don't be so focused on the destination that you miss out on enjoying the journey. But if I could just tell myself back then, you know, just, just discern what your passion is and be good at it. You know, um, there's a Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. quote that goes something along the lines of, be so good at what your calling is that no one dead, living, or unborn can be better than you at it. And so that's my goal today, to be so good at medicine, specifically cardiothoracic medicine, since that's my passion, since he was a cardiothoracic surgeon and his team that saved my life, that nobody before me living contemporaneously or unborn yet to live is going to be better at it. I'm drawn by my passion. Like I feel um, responsible for paying what was done to me, paying it forward. And so that is my drive. I want to give that same opportunity to other young people who are in high school with, you know, a million different possibilities in life as far as what they want to do in life, how they want to give back, make the world a better place. And, you know, I want to give them that opportunity, especially if they have, you know, a left lung collapse, a spontaneous thoracic, and, you know, God forbid they're knocking on death's door.